Ace of the Shadow Pact. When this case enters a battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand and shuffle. Okay. There are five color among spurns you control. Okay, easy, Niv. The beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control against flying double, but my Niv already has flying. My wow, card's just atrocious. Crypto, Cryptex, two mana. Uh, it is a, it is a mana stone. Two mana, collect evidence free. Add one mana of any color. Put an unlock counter on Cryptex. Surprise! You can't really have evidence free on turn three, right? Sacrifice it. Surveil free and draw free cards. Actually, only if it has five or more unlock counter on it. Yeah, modern. We get it. Cycle troll. Wow, amazing. Amazing. Really, uh, what I want to be doing in modern. Well, show and tell be a 1x in timeless. I don't know what show and tell is. Did we already pass it? Oh, surveillance. All right, big brain take on the surveillance. Or Pioneer, who's gonna to wanna to play some surveillance? Ragda Smith, no. Azorus Control, better than Farmlands? I could see these cards being better than Farmlands. Maybe only if you play big. They're fetchable, that's pretty useful in Pioneer. Phoenix. Um, Phoenix mana is pretty good. I don't think Phoenix wants that card. Yeah, Rhino's Living End. Almost definitely you want to waste one. Anchorage. No, I think that card's worse than Anchorage. Even the Dust Rain of Glacial Fortress. Maybe. Maybe you're right, actually. Maybe between... Let's you play for Glacial Fortress, and it makes your early game better, and your late game's already pretty good. Anchorage has been decent. Hey, Gavinacci, good job uh, this weekend. All the living and living and testing paid off. I didn't see that you end up playing the black version. I feel like that black version is just nonsense, but I think you've been playing that black version on. on Magic Online for a while. What happened in the Classic Qualifier again, by the way? I know Michael Bondi did well. He played Scam. Team of Rhinos, Titan, Titan Coffers, more of the same. Is it Wizards? Oh, just... Yeah, for Snapcaster made for Subtlety, not actual Wizards. For Flame, okay. Any Mutavolts? Not a single mutable, it's just Stabcaster. Can be very bad to do a tap line in crucial turns by going to test. Yeah, I mean, the living end. Yeah, I don't think you want more than one, but I think the first one's going to be good in the. The first one's going to be. It's got to be. It's got to be worth it with Fetchman's and, and these guys. You did play the black version. I never got to try it yet. I was just too scared of scam. You beat Magda's grief twice. You started O two. Dude, you, you, how do you beat Ragda's grief twice? You just had the ley line of the void in your opening hand, just one ley line. You went ley line of the void, ley line of sanctity. I tried both versions quite a bit, performed better with this one since the Fury Bean bands. I started O2, yeah, you, you're O2 in the tournament and then you get paired against Scam. <laughs> you're like, FML. Well, at least after that, you just farmed rhinos and yog all day. Do you have a sideboard guide somewhere for that, or can I find a 
I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to play modern, actually. Your match be open and was horrible. Yeah, I saw the win rate matrix. Did it take like both? Both and both RCs? Just, uh. Yes, I can't do. How, how do I zoom in? It won't let me zoom in, really. I guess there's no zooming in. Right click, open any new tab. Can I zoom now? Teamer Cascade, 53%. 23% against living ends. <laughs> Ragnos Evoke was only 55% against living ends? I made a living end player figure that's something. Anyways, getting a little sidetracked here. So, Ragnos Mid, probably no Azurus Control. Is actually interesting. I was thinking that card was worse than farmland. There's a lot of spots in the early turn where I'm like, should I play the farmland? Should I save it to cycle? Depends what I draw, and then now you just get to play and not worry about it. And then if you play four, you could even yeah, you could even cut anchorage, and then you have like pretty good mana base for your castles and your glacial fortress. Yeah, I went one two against Scam in the tournaments. Phoenix doesn't want it, just not worth it. Amalia combo doesn't want it. Oh, they get, they don't want it, right? They need temple. They can't afford to just mill one of their win cons, right? The hidden strings deck. Is there any way to play four consider and four surveillance and replace some deluge with dig? Yeah, yeah, in blue white, I think so for sure. I mean, almost every slow modern deck that plays Fetchland is going to want one. Fires, it is land type. Fires, doesn't, Fires needs the Triumphs, right? Quintoris combo, maybe? Even though you maybe don't want to self-mail some Ragdosac, no, and if it's white, same thing. Mono Black Mid, Gruel Agro. So mostly the control decks. Mostly the control decks and dig for time. And then I don't think you can justify playing it in Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, that's potentially another upgrade. Maybe it'll just be awesome to have a bunch of archives and farmlands, or even better in blue-black. It's literally called sewers, undercity sewers. As opposed to what, though? As opposed to overcity sewers? Like, come on. Who who's coming up with these with these names? Oh, I've I've come up with that new concept, just open air sewers. So you had again went one four into free six with rhinos. I went one four drop. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's fine. It happens. Hey man, I appreciate that. Sorry about that. Yeah. I actually fell asleep. I was falling asleep during the third quarter and went to bed and then Let's spoil me this morning. It sucks. I think I think he made the. I don't know. From what I've read, I think he made the right calls of not going for the field goals. I don't know where the step. I think he first said it's like going for the field goal. There is like eighty-two percent win rate, and going for his plays eighty-five percent win rate, and then everyone arguing that oh momentum and variance and take the lead and it's just nonsense just like people just I, it's literally what he's been doing all year right it was interesting Seti P was making the argument that he plays that way because the Lions defense is terrible and he just a the field goal is not guaranteed b if they kick the field goal then they have to play with their defense and so it's like the like you get to keep your your best players on this on the field. It's like just yeah. Anyways, oh, you literally know the kicker. It's like your friend. That's cool. Yeah. No, obviously it's all like it's the same thing you see everywhere for every every sport. Every like people just they just ignore ignore like 
just result oriented basically. All right, so yeah, every color combo. And since we're here, let's take a quick look at modern. You work with his dad. It was a great story when he made it up the practice squad. Nice. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm bad luck. I think it happens with France when you're in the World Cup. I didn't watch a single game, and then the first game I watched, it did loss or something. Ragda scam. Ragda scam probably doesn't want it, right? Surveillance. Your land counts pretty little already. Rhinos. Almost definitely wants it. Yogg. Yogg might want it. Doesn't have a million one drops. Merc Tides. They play 18 lands, which I feel is a little short, so maybe just land number 19. Titan. No. Living End. Yes. Omnath. I mean, it's got to be... It's got to be fine to play one, right? Maybe if you try and figure out the one dual land that you almost never need untapped. Because, like, with the two Triumphs now, it's... I think it's rare that you need a specific one, always. Based on coverage and what you said, I learned that you had a pro poker curry, which was news to me. In round nine, we talked about poker. Are you referring to something else? Anything for Merc in the new set? Cryptic code, deduce. 2-2 two, two flying for free, draw 2, discard 1. I mean, they play Fable now. That card's a bit like Fable, but probably not. No, I don't think so. Maybe Ill Time Explosion, but I doubt it. Maybe a land, maybe a Surveillance. You mentioned that one player had to balance his range of hands. Oh, I I recall saying something like that, but I don't remember even why. Yeah, the new fable. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be interesting because I don't think you want to add. You can't cut much. You don't want to just add a land because that deck already floods. So maybe maybe try. Maybe try and figure out which which shock lands you rarely need on tapped and replace that coffers coffers play fetch why did you mention coffers coffers just as a good fetch target i don't get it they don't play fetch right to save the damage and stuff living end yes yeah, some mana base play but the problem is the black mana base plays one of each and I place two breeding pool. Yeah, you just over the second breeding pool. Or you just add a land, maybe. I don't know. And then creativity. Yeah, creativity seems like a really good deck to have one. Okay, what about the other lands? Tabs for colorless. It comes into play on tap taps for colorless, just strict upgrades. This guy's free. When it's turned face up, add two mana of any color. Till end of turn, you don't lose this mana, steps and phases ends. So you can like attack, and if it gets blocked, you're like, just kidding. I'm a land, and it pays for itself. So it's free. Who wants that? There's better colorless lands. Right? If you can fit colorless lands in your deck, there's probably something better for you. Oh, it is ramp. Oh, it's a clue. Comes into play tapped. Taps for colorless. Tap, tap a non tap creature you control. Add one mana of any color. So it's drum. And two sag draw. Oh, it is an artifact land. It's bad, right? And what's show and tell? Why can't I think what show and tell is? Sounds like a blue card. No?